Hello all in new 2020 year. I want to share my story how all of it started and in general this video about my new 2020 digital planner. What can I say? I started my preparation process near two months ago and I still have some problems. But uh, how to prepare yourself for new year, it's uh, another my idea for another video. Today I want to share my thoughts about my planner. Last year I decided that I can go paperless and I want to say that it's one of my goals that was achieved and all books that I read this year was in 2019 was in PDF format and I could annotate it and it's definitely what I wanted for my whole life. Also, it's one year of digital planning and for this purpose I used my iPad Pro and GoodNotes. Recently I bought Notability, but I still use GoodNotes, maybe of this style maybe something in this uh, white, completely white background of uh, a notability scaring me, I don't know. But my story started last month, it's December, I decided to prepare all for new year, it's like every year process and I still don't have like a good system and uh, I have some problems with achieving what I want before next year. And I decided that I will bought on Etsy digital planner. Okay, started to find something and decided to do it myself to create my 2020 digital planner. And after a few weeks I tried it. It was, oh my god, it was really... Mm, I mean, it was hard. I want it simple. I want it with some layouts, but it's a lot of work and I have another tasks and a list of things that I want to do and I feel you know that uh, this goal was like uh, like a dream. I'm still thinking that I'll create it. Maybe I should start to create my uh, 2021 uh, digital bullet journal <laughs> already <laughs> but yesterday I realized that it already January 6 and I still waiting to set my goals my priorities my plans because I don't have my planner <laughs> and I decided to bought digital planner and now I am trying to find planner that is quite good that is not about something beautiful but about something productive and something not so expensive because previously I created my monthly spreads by my hand and it was cool but time to time i don't have time for this and spreads are similar on the different by colors and i also crash in some of my plans because i don't have like a previously created monthly goal spreads sheets and so on and in conclusion i decided to go with digital planner for good notes and let's see what we have i chose this one planner and it's from for little lion and just let's see what they have here this store dedicated to 2020 digital planner the only difference between all of them is color of these tabs that are uh, right side and this digital shop also have like a pages printable and i think it's 
we can use in our digital bullet journals. I chose, I think, white edition with uh, white tabs. And after purchasing it, what I have? It's two planners. One started from Monday, another from Sunday. Also, we have some sort of covers and sticky collection. And what we have in our stickers? It's this type of to-do list, headers, notes, and then you can click on each color and it would be linked with this color and this type of mini stickers. Some of them I really like, it's like pet, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, happy birthday, for trip and okay. What about covers? It's this one, this, 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 and this, and black one, and I want this one, <laughs> and this one too. It's beautiful. And it's eight colors that we have in this purchase pack. And let's see what we have inside. Some of people that are watching me, they are like uh, pages and weeks, which started from Sundays. In this pack, we have two options for different people. Weeks started from Monday and week started from Sunday. They are equal, only difference it's what I said. And let's see. A little bit earlier when I downloaded this digital planner I had some sort of problem. I didn't know how to click here and move to another page in good notes. And for people who don't know you have this bar and here we can write something but if you hide it then you can use links in your planner just let's start with 2020 good looking calendar we can choose every week and weeks are similar like monday tuesday wednesday thursday Sunday, friday saturday um, like a number and note section. You can also click on every date and it would be page for this day, priorities, to do, notes and and I am happy with this planner because of these two sides like priorities, to do, notes and some sort of timetable for this day. And what else we have here? It's obviously January, February and so on pages. Like a regular calendar when you can annotate something and add some special events on every day. And you can also decorate it. And what else? We have sticker page for those who likes their stickers in their digital planner. Mm, I don't know. I am a little bit person who likes one place for all stickers. Not only some dedicated space in this one particular digital bullet journal. I have a lot of digital stickers and I'll create for myself or I will buy it digital planner for stickers where I will save all of this and I understand if I won't use it like for stickers I can use it for notes and for other things about other pages this one is dedicated section for notes I like also this section it's to-do list for important, not important, urgent, not urgent to do. And what else I like it? It's section to buy, it's section don't forget, and also to read, to learn, to make. It's like great idea to create spreads 
that you should to create spreads and to make your to-do list so clear about your intentions and what you should do and divide these sort of things like what you want to learn, to read and to buy because in my to-do list it was like line, line, line and thing, thing, things to do, to do, to do, what I should do and I'll see this list and it's uh, wow, crazy I hope it would be easier to decide what to do and cross it from this list. What else? It's our main like a uh, home page where you can add some pictures, some affirmations, notes and we have here index 2020 calendar, 2020 key dates where you can add some special events and birthdays, yearly plan. It's quite good because I thought I'll grab some other space from this journal for my goal setting and planning and I realized that I don't need it and so I will use this place for my goals. Monthly plan it's similar to this side monthly finances as you see financial goals income bill track budget food home transportation personnel other entertainment and we can move between these sections clicking on these month tabs okay let's return here another place it's meals and groceries you can plan what you eat what you cook it's actually great for people that don't have like a diet diary and i obviously don't have it i want it to try and now i can start with this page i will see what it would be Next. Okay, we have here workout log. It consists of six sections that are similar. Saturday, Sunday, it's like one section. And here we have activity, time, distance, intensity, cardio and strength. I feel like I will customize it for myself. Maybe I will change some sort of things like intensity mm, i don't think that it's relevant for me but maybe quantity time maybe process it would be here next we have here habit tracker i'm a little bit confused with this because i thought habit tracker would be like not one page that I will use and then erase or I can copy and paste it. I thought it would be like dedicated page for each month but let's see maybe it's easier to make some notes then erase it then use it. Maybe it's easier to copy and paste it into months pages after each page. I don't know, but we will see. Uh -huh. Goal plan and note paper. Uh, goal plan, it's actually a place where you can create your goal and create action plan, but it's more like a steps, milestones and notes. And actually I think I can use this page not only for goal setting purposes because earlier when i tried to find my ideal planner i saw these cool pages where i can prepare my project and now obviously maybe i will customize this page but it's already cool looking page and let's say it would be customized like <clears throat> some more space and i think i can edit like these old pages 
and create not like a goal plan but what i want it's like my goal plan slash project plan page and i can also copy and paste it in every month but for project planning i don't think that i need it we have here milestones and i can add like uh, months for a huge project that it would be for first month second and third month not a milestone and yep it's probably very customizable space that's why i like white black setup because it's so easy to change even if you don't need some page or don't like how it look like next it's note paper i think it's obvious that you can choose grid paper squared paper line pa paper and white paper and i think it's gray paper i only think that it would be some pain to copy and paste these pages but maybe i don't need it i need only click on my notes and add some other pages like this but here we have it and i am happy with it i think i can use this for creating some other sections not only for saving some sort of paper and last one is this heart when we click on it we have additional space and i really love it we have like different categories that we can use for different things i thought it would be place for my notes for my projects for my tv shows plan and goals uh, my skills and so on but as i mentioned earlier i found place in all of these tabs where i can add customize or use it for my needs if you like this video subscribe thumbs up and if you like this digital bullet journal i will leave links below let's check description box and yeah thank you for watching this video and see you soon